hey, we're playing Vampire Survivors again. I don't think we need any more, um, any more preamble than that. We got a new character last time, Mortaccio. He starts with a bone. He's a skeleton with a he's a skeleton angel, which makes a lot of sense. Um, let's just start it up, man. And we gotta we gotta purge the mad forest. Like we we we've been getting our butt kicked on the mad forest. Oh, oh it, it kinda do be bouncing though. Okay. Mortaccio. I gotta be honest. Could work on his movement a little bit, but look at that. Oh, but if you can get it right in the oh, <laughs> You gotta try to play breakout with it. If you can get it to hit the corner like a DVD screensaver, it's like a pentakill. His bones actually blow until you max them. But then just more impetus for us to get to level two. Honestly, let's get a lightning ring, even though it was not good for us as the as Antonio. Because I feel like we need more killing power as soon as possible. This way we can maybe pick up more experience. It's pretty good when upgraded. I like a character that sucks and then gets Pog. You may remember them from uh, The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Their name is uh, Apollyon. I don't actually like Apollyon that much, but I, I like the idea of Apollyon. Peace, that's my level. Okay, um, let's get some Santa water. If you can get him to level 60, he gets three extra projectiles. Okay. When does Apollyon get Pog? I'm still waiting. Any day now. Any day now. Hey, I can't be mad. They fixed, uh, they fixed Tainted, uh, well, whether you feel like they fixed him or, uh, made him too easy. They fixed, uh, Tainted Jacob. They fixed Tainted Lazarus. There's, there's some... There's been some positives in the world of Isaac. I still be losing, but mostly that's just, you know, impatience. <laughs> Making ridiculous plays like giving up dark arts in order to pick up the white pony. What was I thinking? It's so weird to have a memory of the most recent Isaac episode. After years and years of being like three weeks out from the the episode that went up that day. I'm schmoovin'. I'm still schmoovin'. Okay. Increases projectile speed by 10%. Only because we've never had it, I'll take it. But we're definitely suffering from a, a lack of killing power. But look at this. Oh, the swarm did not melt nearly as much as I thought it would. Oh, I needed that that one specific bat to die so we could actually get in there. What is this movement? What are you doing? Bro, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm not sure Mortaccio is all that in a bag of potato chips. Like, I can see how he ended up getting a halo on top of his head. This is legit 2022 pinball. I could see that. It, it you know, it, it's, it, you just kind of pop a quarter in, and I'm sweating. Effect lasts long. I mean, we gotta level up our, our, our default characteristic. You pop a quarter in and, and don't stop till you're numb. Do you have ambitions to, uh, have a, a home arcade in your house? I'm always of two minds about it. Because it was kind of like, if you're around my age, that was one of those things where, like, if you were a gamer, it was like, oh, when I get older, I'm going to have, like, an NBA Jam cabinet. I'm going to have, like, a Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet. I'm going to have, like, one of those basketball free throw cabinets in my house. But I, you also got to remember... Oh, I mean, this is a gimme, man. You also got to remember that back then... You only got to play those games, like, at the bowling alley in the movie theater. At least after arcades ceased to be, like, a viable business model. So, it, it, they, they were rated more highly, not to say anything negative about NBA Jam, but they were rated more highly, I think, as a result of their perceived scarcity. Now that, like, there's other options in home gaming, I'm like, man, I would, I don't really want to have a pinball machine. I think I'd rather just play my PS5, to be honest with you. K 
character gets 10% luckier. I mean, I honestly, I think we gotta go better Santa water, but... Flexing the PS5? I'm not flexing, like, I don't... I don't play anything on it. If anything, like, I'm only one step, uh, like, above a scalper. Like, we bought a PS5, I played Demon Souls on it, and then I played, like, two bounties. <laughs> I think that's it. I'm still waiting for more games, man. I think we still, you know, let's upgrade that magic wand. We got two weapon spots. Don't sleep on the magic wand. We could freeze some enemies down here. Mortachio's starting to feel a little bit more pog. That's true, I did I did play a little Returnal. Get that champion owned, owned, owned. Reaction time, get ready to, ooh. Let's go. We needed this, please, at least a triple. You piece. Hey, Dark Haze 9 thank you for the gifted subscriptions, thank you. Another Santa water. I'm ready. Thank you. Oh, okay. More duplicators. We made it to flower one. I'm starting to feel like we got a little impetus here. Anyway. I don't know. I just... Like, if I, if I was gonna have an arcade cabinet... I should also say that I did the typical, like, college experience, and when we moved into off-campus housing, we got a cheap air hockey table and a cheap foosball table. My experience is that you use them for, like, a weekend, and then you use them, like, once a week. Let's fire one more projectile. And then you just, like, it's just taking space up in your house. It ends up just being like a piece of furniture that you you don't really use. Because I'll, I'll be honest with you, air hockey is like only really fun when you play it like once every three years at like a birthday party or like a Chuck E. Cheese or something like that. NBA Jam, I think NBA Jam, anytime people came over, you could play like my rosary. Um, it's broken! You could play, like, half an hour of NBA Jam with company for sure, but let's increase our, let's increase our bone. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have aspirations to have, like, uh, to have a home arcade setup. And maybe if you were into fighting games, it would be, like, a different story. Or pinball. I kind of had that phase where I was like, I thought I was going to get into pinball. You go to the barcade a couple times and you're like, man, I should like get into pinball. Then you realize that it's only been like 10 minutes and you're bored and you're like, eh, you know what? Maybe, maybe next year. I'm not hating on pinball or, or any of these games. I'm just, uh, you know, I think after... Whoa! Sorry, there's a chest down there. After dinner, you know, at, at some kind of like gastro pub, if they have a pinball machine, I'd be like, hey, let's go over, like we'll play a game of pinball or something like that. But, uh, you know, to have one in my home 24 seven, I don't know, man. People rag on me enough for the air fryer. They're like, no, no single use devices, no single use devices. Okay, yeah, you got a machine that only plays pinball? you insist look I think we've we've been very blessed this is a lot of of options that all seem very good okay rune tracer was pog spinach is pog increasing your bone is pog I would love to take everything rune tracer gave us our our only win I think we got to give it a try we got a, we've already got a triplicator going as well. I'll get the chest. We just got to murder some stuff in the in the meantime. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Thank you. I think we need to up our magic wand too. Help. Help me. I've made it. This would be a great five piece. Alrighty. 
<laughs> How do you win this game? You survive for 30 minutes and then Dracula comes and cuts your throat. I don't know, maybe there's like a, a final level where if you beat it, you actually get the dub, but, but so far that's been my experience. Honestly, Fire Wand kind of cracked too. Now we're, we're done on weapons. We just level the weapons we got. I just wish it didn't fire randomly. I, I recognize that that's the price you pay because it also does incredible damage relative to the magic wand, but man, oh man. Imagine if they just didn't care about balance at all and just let it fire at the closest enemy. I would be pogging. <clears throat> Imagine. Imagine all the people, if they didn't. That's a good one. That's a good joke. I'll give it a plus two. Another level rune tracer. Don't forget, you need spinach to get upgraded fire wands. True. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know all those synergistic combos, but I do know if you want flaming skulls, you got to get spinach. Forget the Attractor. I don't think we can afford to give up a passive slot for quality of life. Just increase my bone speed. Something I've never had a problem with. Relatable, relatable, plus two, plus two. Let me just fill in those plus twos for you. If you could just sign right here. Moving, schmoving. <clears throat> I'm schmoving. You know, I'm very proud of myself. Kate last night, she was watching some videos of, of musicals. And then she said, have you seen this one? And she played a song from... Uh... Give me another light in here. She played a song from the 1990s uh, musical Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I think it's actually, the musical is just called Jekyll and Hyde. I'm completely unfamiliar with it. I didn't have my glasses on, but while I was watching this, I was like, this dude looks a lot like David Hasselhoff. Even with my glasses off, I was like, this guy's got a serious Hasselhoffian sort of aura to him. I'm going to be dead. I'm not going to die. Thank you. <laughs> then... After the song was over, I said, was that David Hasselhoff? And she said, yeah, how did you know that? And I didn't have an answer for it. I don't know, it's just like, I think the face and mannerisms of David Hasselhoff are like burned into my skull. I'm dead, I am, I am dead, man. I'm alive! <laughs> Is David Hasselhoff in the room with us right now? I only know him from the Spongebob movie. I was the right age, and this is not even a, like, this is not bop me. I was the right age to have, like, an awareness of Baywatch, but not really get it. You know, I was probably, like, between, okay, well, I guess I'll, we'll wait on that one. Th this is the end. At NL, the arrow points to a chest. Oh, no way. Maybe maybe there's a reason I'm not going to the chest that's unrelated to me not knowing where the uh, direction is, you know? Maybe maybe it's because of the uh, infinite skeletons around me. People be like, clear a path. All my shit shoots, like, randomly. Except the magic wand, which is, like, level one. You're absolutely right. Like, why, why are my... Why are my skeleton friends trying to kill me? I think we need some movement speed, man. Like, this is what I mean when I say there's snakes everywhere, man. Let's go. I think it's just knockback, I guess. Like, trust no one, not even yourself. Whoa, 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 okay. I can't help but notice we're just getting increasingly, <laughs> increasingly... Uh, narrow areas to stand. Look, make some space. May oh, those bones are mine. Those bones are mine. 
Hold on, have we have we made a gap? I don't even know where I am anymore, man. You gotta seize the gap. It's like merging on the highway one at rush hour. You just gotta seize the gap. They're gonna move. They're not gonna crash into you. They might pretend they wanna die on the highway just to, you know, keep their position in the lane. They're, they're not gonna do it. Everybody, we gotta, everybody's gotta get home, okay? Everybody wants to watch the mass singer. Nobody's gonna willfully engage in vehicular manslaughter. There you go. Now you got some space. Now you got some space. Now we can make it back to the chest. And we're 12 minutes in. We're due for a triple. You know it. I know it. Look at this. Look, we kited them so well. Triple. Maybe a penta? No, that's fine. Triple's still pretty good. I'll still I'll live with the triple. Two magic wands is actually goaded because uh, our magic wand is very important. It's the only thing that we can actually kind of aim. It'll keep us safe from the enemies around us to an extent at least. Oh no. That, that's not Granville Station. That's not Burrard Station. We were just making it through Piccadilly Circus, man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That that was that was the Shibuya Scramble Crossing. Okay, give me better better attack speed on everything. You piece. Get killed. Get killed, you, you freaking werewolf. Let's get that lightning ring poggin'. We got a little wall turkey. We're still chilling. It's still good. It's just a little airborne. Still schmoovin'. Still schmoovin'. Just trying to get to the Sephora before it closes. Just trying to get to the Sephora before it closes. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're, we're seizing the gap. We're not going to the gap, though. We're going to Aritzia. Look at the lines. Okay. We need more damage. We need like a spinach or something like that. I mean, this is tough for me because I do think that moving fast would be nice, but I think we need to kill things faster. So, you know, let, let's let's get some let's get some Santa water. I feel like right now we've we've survived merely by the skin of our teeth. Hello. Hello. I am going to pass away. Not 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 IRL. Just in the game. I'm dead. <laughs> <clears throat> Santa water does not feel good. I agree. I think we'd be better off having something we could aim. All right, we tried. I Honestly, we're not going to run him back yet, but we can unlock another new character, right? Permanent plus one projectile for all weapons on Gennaro Bolognese. Okay. Bolognese. Send them. Gennaro's Pog. Yo, he kind of looks Pog. Look at this. He's whole. This is like what the, your average NES logic. You'd play a game where like a guy is holding two swords, but he throws knives. Like that would the cover art would be like Conan the Barbarian's fast follow knockoff, holding like a battle axe, and then when you play the game, he just shoots like a single orange pixel out of the center of his chest. I think the rune tracer is is important to us here. Oh, dude, wait, he's shooting little laser beams out of his feet. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Kate was. So we we finally all the other uh, people in our. Circle of friends. I'm not complaining. I'm just I'm I'm just asking questions. Um, they already re already received that first come first served Twitch partner merch. Kate received hers yesterday. That's fine. I bet mine's just in transit. Um, but it comes with like a cool like Twitch branded Connect Four that we played. That's what Kate was putting on the board game shelf. And we played it last night. I gotta tell you, I'm straight ass at Connect Four. 
I lost the first game in like the classic Connect 4 way, where I just was like focusing way too much on like what I wanted to do and uh, zero percent paying attention to what my wife was doing. She had three in a row. I play somewhere else. She was like, I win. I was like, oh yeah, good point. Then the second game that we played, I was thinking like four moves ahead. I was like, I'm gonna go here, which is gonna force her to like block me here. And then I'll start building like a second, uh, you know, sequence off of this. And then I'm just gonna keep adding more threads to it so until eventually it's undefendable. And then she did that to me, and I lost. And I said, they couldn't have sent us a chess set? I can't remember, uh, was it, was it uh, last year, two years ago, the most popular show on Netflix, a huge wave on Twitch? Was it The Queen's Gambit, Anya Taylor-Joy plays a bunch of Connect Four? Or was it uh, Anya Taylor-Joy plays a bunch of chess? It's not Gotham Connect Four. It's not Gary Connect Four. Oh, we're definitely taking spinach, by the way. That being said, the, the the Connect Four set is really cool. I'll admit. I'm just I'm I'm genuinely ass at Connect Four. Well, we got this rotating in exactly the wrong direction, but that's okay. Don't be mauled. I I'm not mad, but I am bald, so I guess I'm like halfway there. One. Come on, man. Please. A better knife. I won a Connect Four tournament as a child. I'll be real with you, okay? So like, ooh. <laughs> two birds though? Oh! I'm not, like this is unsalted. Let's, let's get better projectile speed. Connect Four is actually a thinker's game, legitimately. Like, it, it, it is not, a, like, a luck-driven game. There's a higher level of skill than, than it appears. At least at first glance. Now, Checkers, on the other hand, like, I'm sure I'm gonna catch some, some flack for saying it, but Checkers is kinda like... It's like Monopoly before Monopoly existed. But Connect 4 is like, um... What's that game? Is it Gomoku from... Uh, clubhouse games that's kind of just like horizontal connect four I want to skip these I guess I guess we'll try spellbinder I agree I mean the attract orb I I think is over overrated by me chat deservedly said it's ass I was like, oh, but what if it isn't? Remember back to tank? You all thought it was ass, and then it always has been, but what? One day, a little clover. Oh. Anyway, I got I got respect for Connect 4. How do you feel about forced en passant? It's already forced. Because if somebody knows en passant, if you give them the... Oh, we're definitely taking a magic wand. If you give them the opportunity to do en passant, their ego will not let them not do en passant. Because they recognize that it's more important that they demonstrate and possibly shock you. They're making a, a, a queen's gambit. Why not? Let's try it. That you don't know what en passant is and just walked into a trap. When in reality, you set the trap for them. Melvin's razor. It's perfect. Melvin's razor. Okay, sure. Anyway. You don't have any AoE? I, so I know how this is going to sound, but this is an honest question that might surprise you with its answer. Even my attacks that aren't AoE, won't they have a small amount of AoE as a result of their hitbox increasing? You ever think about that? Yes, they will. Well, no, they won't. Okay. Yes, because they know they will. Okay. Well, you know what? We may never know. And I, I take anything that's fire one more projectile, but dude, honestly, uh, cross fires one more projectile than we previously had, because we, we didn't have a cross before.
Two more, actually. You're right, two more. Why two more? I see them. I just don't know. I just don't know why we have two of them. We don't have a duplicator. Oh, your hero just does that? That's insane. He's goaded? This is the guy Antonio wishes he was when he looks in the mirror. I want that level. Thank you, thank you. Let's fire one more projectile. Honestly, though, the knife is kind of ass. Although, you know what? The knife is one of the only ways that we can direct damage. And to get it passive would be nice. So actually having our knife get a little stronger seems like a good way to open an escape route. Or at least a, a, a safety pocket. Knife is actually S tier. Yeah, in Isaac. Unless you're Dan. Let's go. How many 35-year-old people do you think understand the words that you say on a regular basis? I don't know if you guys, like, leave your house that much, but 35 is legitimately not that old anymore. In the 90s, it was, like, fucked up. 35-year-olds were, like, 60. Nowadays, 35-year-olds are wearing, like, you know, Onitsuka Tiger gear. They got, you know, gray sweatpants tucked into, like, Ultra Boosts and stuff like that. They're cool now. Not me. I'm only 33. I haven't reached that level of swag yet. I'm telling you, 35-year-olds, they... What we've done by torpedoing the ability to build equity in our current economy is actually artificially extend the length of the 20s. Like your 20s, not the 2020s, hopefully. As a result, financially people are staying younger longer, but that's also preserving their swag. It's like the drip is being coated in amber now, instead of, you know, being burned for, for lamp oil. Base damage up by five? Okay, don't mind if I do. Yeah, Justin's 36. I told you, 36 is not old. 36 can't be old if Justin left his, uh, his, I don't even know, his bowl for illicit cannabis consumption inside of a red Solo cup and then melted uh, the red Solo cup and almost gave himself carbon monoxide poisoning while he was asleep. Does that sound like something a 36-year-old would do in the 1990s? Absolutely not. Whoa! Okay, we're chilling. Watch out for swarms. Watch out for swarms. Remember, you got the knife. You gotta, you gotta go spinach, man. You got the knife. The knife allows you to open a path. As long as you walk in, in the direction you want to go, which I guess is kind of self-explanatory or self-evident, the knife will clear you a path, you weather the storm, the AOE does its work, then we're going to do a little loop because we just killed all the enemies over here, we're going to do a little loop back to the experience we just created. Why no damage numbers? My laptop gets really hot and causes the game to run at 1 FPS. That's why the title of the stream today is One Like Equals One Frame. Share if you if you uh, if you pray for me, something like that. I can't remember. I always think of the title with like you know one second to go until I'm gonna be late, and then I'm late anyway because I go like get a glass of water. But you know how it is. I, th I still think we got to do more damage, honestly. I think we need a knife that, that hits harder so we can open up the shmovement, the shmovement canals. Like, look at this. We're, we're getting some action. We're getting some purchase here. Hey, Sam the Saracen. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Did you see Kodak Black at the Panthers Canucks game? Um... Okay, so 35-year-olds are not that cool. I'm only 33. But, like, I'm not cool enough to know who Kodak Black is. 
But I did see a lot of comments, we need the piercing, that were like, hey, it's Kodak Black at the Canucks game. And he was doing something. I, I didn't really see it because I was watching it on my phone. Sorry, Chris Nolan. He got a stanky lap dance. Oh, that's what that... It definitely looked like there was some movement going on. Fires one more projectile. Okay. Like, he, he, I'm assuming he's a rapper. I honestly... Now that I think about it, I think I had Kodak Black, the person, confused with Bodak... Yellow, the Cardi B song? Which I don't think I've ever heard, but I've seen the name of it in text. Nice triple. And then, you know what? I think there might be a part of me that had it confused with Bojack Horseman as well. The, the song is a reference to the rapper. Wow, geez, the rabbit hole just keeps getting deeper and deeper. You've definitely heard it. I'm being honest with you, I don't think I have. That's not a flex, I just, I can't imagine where I would have been exposed to it. I've, I know some Cardi B songs. Um, Up and WAP, I think that's, those are the two I know. I also know her video from March 2020 where she was like, shit's getting real y'all, coronavirus, ah, 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 like, I've, I've, I've definitely seen more, like, viral Instagram lives featuring Cardi B than I have heard her music. We need some rune tracing, man. I'm in a world of pain. Never mind, I'm fine. I feel like you'd hear the songs on Peloton. Honestly, like, I mean, this is where my boomer shows. I, I've listened to, so I, I, I take exclusively classes from like an instructor who it would surprise me if he added Cardi B to the playlist. It wouldn't say like not in a negative way, but like I've never seen it in like, you know, 60 rides or something like that. But I also self-select largely, um, you know, 90s pop, classic rock, 70s rock, 80s rock, 90s rock. As soon as they, as soon as I see a ride that's two thousands rock, I'm like, stay away. Don't even get me started on when you see a ride show up that's twenty tens rock. I'm like, ah, get me out of here. This is why we took the knife. It was all about this. You know what? I think we can afford a crown here. What even is 2010's rock? It's just like, I, I'm not memeing, but like you look at the playlist for those rides, there's like five Imagine Dragons songs. It's just, it's, it's too much for me. I'm gonna continue to take the knife here. They really want me to take a clover. Stop trying to make clover happen. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, the knife is a little, like, its effect is kind of snoozy, but its raw damage is kind of incredible. Like, are you seeing this? Clover also involves the cross. Oh, now this I did not know. Oh, okay. Hear me out, two triples. <laughs> oh, the triple knife? What the heck is this? Thousand Edge Evolved Knife fires with no delay. Soy knife? <laughs> Soy milk knife? A better candle, candle Labrador. Oh, dude, he's moving. Look at this movement. Nothing can stop me now. And we got that at, at 12 minutes. Like, I feel like this is a dream come true.
Dude, let's up our attack speed on everything now. We're actually the one. You know what would have been sick? I haven't seen the new Matrix yet. Please don't spoil if this actually happens in the in the movie. But how sick would it be if Shania Twain's You're Still the One played the first time we saw Neo in the movie? You're still the one I run to. The one that I belong to. O OMG, it does. That would just be like a nice little tongue-in-cheek nod to the people who remember from the original that he was the one. It actually happens twice. They paid... Honestly, get the bag, Shania. I don't mean to, you know, be interested in celebrities' personal lives. We gotta move up at some point, man. But, um... Ah, oh, never mind. I'd rather be alive, I've decided. Let's work on this magic wand. Um, we, we gotta get that EXP, man. That's the problem now. Uh, Shania Twain has one of the, the strangest domestic uh, situations I can recall ever hearing about a celebrity. She, her husband, her best friend and her best friend's husband all lived in Switzerland in like some kind of, you know, community together. Her husband cheated on her. Let's go. With her best friend. What the heck's going on, man? Uh, what the heck is going on? Okay, hold on, we're still moving. Her husband cheated on her with her best friend. Then she got a divorce and married her best friend's ex-husband and her ex-husband married her best friend. So they actually executed a, a lateral wife swap move. I don't know if they're still friends. I feel like that would probably, you know, it's hard to come back from that level of like distrust and betrayal. But they did, they did an actual switch. Like the roommate switch from the Seinfeld episode. The only other celebrity, like domestic situation I, I ever bring up is Elon Musk getting married getting divorced and then later getting remarried to the same woman and then getting divorced again which is actually just really really funny i don't mean to like this is not even i'm taking like an opportunity to be like you know dunking on elon musk even if it was just like a guy you'd be like that's a funny story what were you thinking But the fact that it's Elon Musk certainly makes the story a little funnier. Okay, so we need to get some experience at some point, but I, I'm pessimistic about my ability to make it through the horde here. I think I gotta, I gotta keep some movement paths open. I love music; it makes my heart sing. I'll never forget how how many people turned on me for making fun of. Like, I make fun of everything, including myself. But then, for some people, when a 55-year-old when a billionaire tweets, I love music, it makes my heart sing. They were like, hey, man, I think it's cool that he's, like, a pure spirit like that. Forget the chest, man. We can't get there with all these mantises around. This was back in the one of the Dark Souls 1 randomizers, so we're probably talking, like, close to two years ago. There, I took a lot of heat from people that were like, so what, it's illegal to be happy now? I'm like, nah, man, it's just weird to think of, like, my dad tweeting, I love music, it makes my heart sing. I would, I would phone him and be like, are you okay? Is mom alright? Like, what's going on? Like, it's just, it's a, like a cry for help. Hold on. 
Somehow we're still alive. Somehow Palpatine returned. How funny would it be if Elon Musk was your dad? I mean, like, it's a, how funny would it be for me or how funny would it be for my audience? I think my audience would find it hilarious. I think it would cause me a good deal of consternation. <laughs> my dad's getting torn up on social media every day. I'd be like, Dad, stop beefing with Bernie Sanders. You can't win on social media, Dad. Dad, stop tweeting Bernie Sanders that you're surprised he's still alive. It's beneath you. It's a really weird comment for, like, one of the world's wealthiest people to make. Just kind of mean-spirited, quite frankly. There you go. We're, dude, how are we not getting XP from, like, Thomas Hayden Church from Spider-Man 3 when we, we melt these guys? At least a pent. Come on! <laughs> okay, better bird. Pog reference? Of course I know who Thomas Hayden Church is. You think I haven't seen Wings? You think I haven't seen uh, Sideways 20 times? You think I haven't seen Spider-Man 3 once? Rainbow money bag? Okay, there is a rosary. We gotta go get that rosary. Problem is, people said it's bottom right, but I've moved since then. So now I'm confused. You know what? Just pick some experience up. The rest will take care of itself. It's there on the right. Yeah, 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 I knew that. Here we go. Here we go. I'm scanning. I'm scanning the 100,000 different objects on the screen as we speak. I see it. I see it. I see it. Hey, wait, well, wait, wait, wait it out. Wait it out. Why don't you come get a taste? Why don't you come get a taste? Believe it or not. Oh, I, I got too close to it. That was still pretty good. I'll take it. Copium, he'll take a tract orb soon. I'm not taking the attract orb. I'd rather take Clover than a Tract Orb. Base damage up by 10. We take those. Okay, I, look, I always love a Magic Wand improvement. The damage is, is pretty strong. It's much like a knife. It cuts like a knife, and it feels so right. Brian Adams. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, NL, I'm doing a crossword. Which, uh, which country does Damascus reside in? Uh, Syria. S-Y-R-I-A. Five letters. Thank you. You're welcome. Dude, it would be sick if search engines, just instead of using, you know, like, an algorithm, um, and like, you know, crawlers and stuff like that, these lines really do be crawling with calamari, by the way. Google spiders? You couldn't have called them something else? Google scanners, at least? Anyway. I don't want new. Give me better effects. They, uh... It would be sick if we lived in a world where search engines actually just employed, like, one really smart person. And then you just got to ask them a question. Like, you could line up and then be like, what's the biggest lake of the Great Lakes? And they'd be like, Psh, superior. That would be sick, man. College humor already made this joke. Fuck. All right. Um, it would be cool if... Subway started to sell an 18-inch sub. How sick would that be? Um, my frames? Uh, excuse me, waiter, uh, I believe I ordered some frames. Take base damage up by 10%, please. This is where you clear a path. Someone said there was an orb. Everyone chill out! I got enough for everybody, okay?
I'm just moving. I'm just moving. I see the turkey, but we got to get an orb. If there's an orb, we must receive the orb. I see a stopwatch at least. Oh, baby. It's something. It's something. Okay, reduce my weapon cooldowns. Where's my damn orb? What? This was flower section? What the heck? There's a lady in that thing! In Canada, the subway sell a one-third of a meter long? No. They sell a foot long. You got me there. I don't think they're selling too many of them anymore. So, hey, 20, it's 2022, man. Subway doesn't sell anything. Everybody's going to Jersey Mike's. I think the enemies all got trapped by the flowers, dude. Come on. New Jersey represent? I think Elmo's from New Jersey. The way he says... A plastic water bottle and a paper towel roll. I got a lot of Elmo bits. Let's been spending a lot of time on Sesame Street lately. Tell Elmo. How, Zoe? How? Rocco doesn't even have a mouth. Tell Elmo. How's he going to eat the cookie? How? So good. We, we watched, like, the full episode of that. It, 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 like, dude, honestly, whoever Sesame Street's got on their social media team, they got their finger on the pulse. Because they uploaded, like, the full 10-minute um, segment of Rocco and Zoe from the viral clip, like, yesterday on YouTube. It aired originally in 2004. They added it to the YouTube channel in 2020. It's like, they, they know, they know... Dude, if we just stand still, even the Thomas Hayden churches can't get us. Did I say 2020? I meant 2021. Okay, we're free. These flowers ever die? Be honest. When you were in school and you had to write the date on your papers, how long did it take you to adjust to the new year? I upgraded magic wand? It always took me like a month. Evolve magic wand. Fires with no delay. He's popping. Upgraded book. No, that's just the normal book, but okay. Well, now... We even, we're ethering the flowers, dude. I love the way they just disappear. Holy cow. Base damage up, sure. This one, I mean, look. Things are getting a little hot. I wouldn't dispute that. But look at that. We just cleared a path. I think we're like... We're getting pretty close to definitely winning. Although I will say, we were like level 69 when we when we won our first run. We're only level 35. I must be leaving way too much experience behind. Yes, yes, nice. So true. Get faded. Kind of faded, but I'm feeling all right. Think about making my move tonight. We're saved. It's a hard game to glance. I don't know if you've noticed. What the heck, man? There's too many flowers. 
What do you think you're doing? Building a tower that's tumbling through your soul or something like that? In holy places where rattles, no one dares to go? Wait, I forgot the lyrics. Come on. I mean, if we're talking neutral milk hotels in the aeroplane over the sea, I'm a track six guy, quite frankly. Okay. She's just a lady. Don't be scared, Chad. A little scared, but let's, let's keep it moving. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. So true. My favorite Neutral Milk Hotel song, Empire State of Mind. There was a stopwatch back there. There is, where, where I'm from, there's only forward. There is no back. And then, send it back. I was all a ruse. It was all a ruse to make them think. Then we got them all in one slot. Piercing knives are getting... Oh, I don't want this garbage. Have no fear. Look at the melting. No problem. We're just schmoovin', man. Oh, <laughs> baby. Give me this XP. I can feel like it's, it's, we got a current now. It's like it's the, the seas are getting choppy. Give me lower cooldowns. Even though I guess we have two lo very good weapons that don't have any cooldowns whatsoever. I'd like this XP, please. Thank you, thank you. But then as I get the XP, I just generate more XP for myself. Give me better attack speed. Oh, man. I've just accepted, like, we're never going to see daylight again. We're always going to be caught in the swarm. And you know what? That's okay. That's what this game's all about. You get a little supply of tryptophan now and then. Oh! <laughs> Go ahead. You think I'm scared of you, ghosts? Track eight on in the aeroplane over the sea? Don't make me laugh. You think I'm scared of some ghosts? What the heck? Do you see all these zombies? Better cooldowns, please. Okay, make a path, make a path, make a path, make a path for me. If you change your movement, I'll be first in line. It's not, not even any effort. There's no effort at all. Minus two, ghost is track nine. Son of a bitch. This, this is where you gotta trust your O-line, man. If you start to scramble, you know, that's where the secondary is going to know exactly what you're doing. This is where you got to trust your left tackle. That's why it's one of the most valued positions in, in NFL football. You know who had to trust their O-line? Thomas Hayden Church in Sideways. How is he supposed to act if Sandra O oh forgets her lines? It would, it would make it a challenge, that's for sure. Mine is two? Come on. Sandra O oh was Thomas Hayden Church's temporary love interest in the film Sideways. And we were talking about Sideways earlier. It's an incredible callback. Red Ruby. Are you seeing all these champions? Sorry I never saw it. Minus two. Oh, I guess you having bad taste is uh, my fault. Maybe I'll make a joke about um, Larry the Cable Guy's uh, national security, get her done. What's your favorite movie of all time? Let me guess, Train to Busan. Second favorite movie of all time, Into the Spider-Verse. Third favorite movie of all time, 
probably something that the first movie that ever made you cry. I'm going to say Across the Universe. Starring Evan Rachel Wood. Then, I bet you just like Ocean's Eleven. Men in Black. They're all champions? Get me out of here, man. Get me out of here. Help. They're not dying. Red rubies. <laughs> Why you gotta do Spider-Verse like that? I'm not, look at Spider-Verse is a good movie. Great soundtrack too. I'm just saying, you made me mad, so it's time to make the maximum amount of people mad afterwards. So I, I went for the sacred cow into the Spider-Verse. I'll do it again. Help me. Eight seconds, man! Just breathe. Ah, <laughs> we did it. Let's go. That's, that's a win. Stage completed is a win. I'm so happy I got rescued by Dracula, and he killed me. Okay. Wow, our DPS was so much lower than as uh, than when we did the uh, the library level. DPS forty five. Oh, because it got upgraded to become the thousand edge early. Like, before the halfway point, and then it became 800. Okay, that's a little... That's a little better. Never buy the cross again. That seems... That seems understandable. My FPS was a lot higher. You're not wrong. Hold on. I want to buy the characters. Porta de Rossi, permanent plus 30% area. Bazinga. Arca Ladonna, weapon cooldown is reduced by 5% every 10 levels. Seventy-five hundred to start with the duplicator, man, that's crazy. I dude, extra spinach, come on. Having having an extra five I guess ten percent per level up to a max of twenty-five, that's something, man. Okay. Slash marker. Vampire Survivors 